Yes, we're live, we're back again. My name is Seth the Loeb with another flat some WooCommerce tutorial, recording live from out of my house. Uh, it's been a while, but I'm very excited to publish new videos again. And uh, lately I'm getting this question more and more often, how to create dynamic fields inside your custom product page layout. Um, I found a way making use of the plugin called Advanced Custom Fields. And um, quickly, to give you a quick explanation, uh, if you're already aware of the fact that you can create custom product layouts with Flatsum, you will notice that you can only use the dynamic fields from WooCommerce. So either the title or the product description or maybe the short description or maybe the, the tabs feature. But sometimes you have products who, who are having kind of a specifications or maybe text that needs to be uh, available uh, on each of your products. Uh, so I found a way to make use of the uh, plugin, the uh, ACF uh, plugin, uh, to have a very easy way for my clients to not go into the custom product page layout, but in the back end, they will just get an extra field. Here you will see uh, I'm inside a product. As you can see, you can see a text field, and this is features, and this is specifications, and this is referring to the features and the specifications. So I'm going to uh, quickly show you how to do this. Um, I'm going to close my example project and then I will open up. Um, I'm going to make use of our product page pack. So these, this is a product that I'm selling. Uh, it's uh, pre-made layouts that you can use uh, for your e-commerce company. So in this case, for example, let's take the product page one layout. So let's say for this certain web shop, we want to have a certain field displayed here that can be reused for every product. So um, I'm going to open up the uh, UX builder. I al already assigned this specific uh, UX block to this specific layout. If you don't know what I'm saying now, please have a look at one of my other videos where I have a full explanation how to create a custom product page layout uh, for your WooCommerce Flatsome shop. But if you have already done this and you have a UX block and assigned it to be your custom product page layout, you probably know what I mean by opening up the um, UX builder. So I'm going to open up the product layout. And here you can see that I already created everything. Um, so there's a product title, the product rating, there's the price. So let's say here down below, I have some product details. I'm going to uh, insert, it could be a text element, but in this case, I want to create a, a accordion. So here we go. So let's say we call this dimensions. And let's call this, for example, um, shipping. And let's call the other one. Um, specifications whatever so now I'm having these three tabs that can be populated with uh, dynamic fields so inside but I'm going to explain you later I'm going in inside this accordion I'm going to put uh, dynamic content but for now I will just apply an update now I go back to my uh, installation so I go back to the back end so inside WordPress and of course you need to install the advanced custom fields plugin um, it's this one, it's from WP Engine and it's um, a very, uh, as you can see, 2 million installations. So it's a very common used plugin to create custom fields. Uh, unfortunately, at the moment, uh, it's not possible to do it uh, inside Flatsome with the native options, but I know they are working on this feature. So hopefully by the time you're looking at this video, maybe it's already possible with Flatsome uh, dynamic fields. But for now, we're going to make use of the advanced custom fields plugin. So let's activate the plugin. And then here down below, you get a field called ACF. So click on it. And now I'm going to uh, click on add new. And then I'm going to um, insert a uh, field group. So in this case, I'm just going to say product page. And then I will save. And then the first label is dimensions. So I'm going to click on it. 
I'm calling this dimensions and then you can say what should it be it could be a text it could be a text area and there are some other options you could also select the what you see is what you get editor and it gives you a little bit more styling options so in this case I'm going to go forward with the what you see is what you get editor um, I think I'm done now so I can just click on it and it will minimize and then uh, we have set the dimensions so now I'm going to add shipping so I'm going to add a field going to call this shipping let's select the what you see is what you get editor again I'm going to click on add field again and the last one was specifications so again what you see is what you get specifications here we go close it down and now I'm going to save uh, one of the important steps that you need to do is here at the settings tab you need to say that this specific field group needs to be assigned to not post in this case but the post type should be product so in that way it will display on the products uh, of the WooCommerce uh, area but sometimes and I've done this also for another client maybe you will, uh, you want only these specific fields to be displayed at a certain product category that can be done as well I'm not sure if I'm having any kind of product category let me check quickly so as you can see I'm having fashion food and drinks so you could also say that only these specific field groups needs to be only displayed at a certain category it can be done so you could add a rule group and you could say post category no let me see I think it's the taxonomy and then as you can see down below you can say the product category so it only needs to be displayed at the um, fashion and I think this should be oh, I clicked wrong so it should be and uh, you could also say okay it only needs to be displayed at the um, post category no taxonomy and then you can select the product category so there's a lot of you know conditional conditions to be set to the filters uh, but for now I want these specific field groups to be displayed on all my products so in this case I'm going to go forward with the post type is equal to product okay we're done I'm going to save and now when I'm opening up the product section inside WooCommerce you can see I'm having a few products already but I'm, when I'm clicking on uh, on one of the actual products and let me just select the right one right away so in this case the camera here we go the Fujifilm Instax camera and when I'm scrolling down you can see here at the so this is indicating the product field group I'm not sure if I can so let's say product page custom fields makes it a little bit more easy to explain and to recognize so when I'm now refreshing you will see that it will say product page custom fields and here you can see dimensions and shipping so now for each product my client or me in this case can type in some text so let's say the dimensions of this specific product is 100 centimeters times 50 centimeters something like that I know shipping can be is more like a generic a global feature so it's not really product related but let's say this specific product takes about two weeks to deliver here we go and then the specifications well this specific camera has 100 gigabytes of storage so my client is able to type in whatever he would like he can even insert some images there are you know some styling options with the what you see is what you get editor uh, but for now let's keep it uh, keep it like this so let's save And of course now comes the latest the, the, one of the last steps where we need to make sure that the custom product page layout is connecting with these custom fields. So 
try to find maybe I will also put it in the short description or if you're watching this on YouTube I will put a tutorial link in this description below that will take you to the web page set the web and I will put in this short code as well uh, but for now I'm just going to put in ACF field short code and here you can see the actual short code page and here is how you could you know insert the short code that is referring to the specific field you don't need to specify a post ID so the only thing is what you need is this certain part so I will take out this now going back to my custom product page layout I'm going to type some text uh, but you could also go forward with HTML doesn't really matter the only thing with text it will automatically add another paragraph so for me I like to work with HTML I will put in the short code I will take out the post ID area so only this part is uh, left and then this field needs to be corresponding with the actual field name so that is really important and in this case this case it's dimensions so going back filling in dimensions here we go and then uh, the label I will say ACF field dimensions here we go so the label is just very easy that I can recognize oh there's an advanced custom field here okay that's done uh, dimensions with an S here we go and now I can also replicate this for the other accordions so I'm just going to drag and drop with my alt or my option key uh, press so it will just duplicate very easily I will open up shipping I will change dimensions into shipping here we go and specifications here we go so even to make it a little bit more nice let's put a little gap no, not an accordion but a gap between the accordion and the text here apply update and let's now see the results on the front let's open up the product page and let's see if it's working clicking on dimension it is not working I'm not sure why that is let's refresh um, did I update everything? Let's refresh. Okay, I didn't thought this was going to happen. So why is this not working? shipping let me just verify quickly with if the short code so let me oh, let me just verify maybe it's a short code problem ACF field ACF field dimension shipping maybe as you can see the name is with lowercase so maybe this is even a good I think maybe that's the case since I wrote it with a capital D so I started with capitals maybe this is the issue apply update let's refresh now and now as you can see it's working so that was a good thing that it was not working for me so get, um, take extra care to make sure you're not using the label name but using the name here and there's a reason why there is probably a copy to clipboard uh, icon here so it makes it easy to uh, not make any mistakes like I did so that makes it very easy now so you can just use one general one global product page layout but giving your client or yourself as an e-commerce company the uh, ability to add those dynamic custom fields to all your all of your products so now when i'm going to another product as you can see i'm having those custom fields available as well 
So, yeah, well, thank you for watching. Um, very happy to create new video tutorials again for WooCommerce Flats on, on Sep de la Web. You can uh, find all my products. I'm also uh, supporting companies, creating custom redesigns. Uh, but have a look. If you have questions, leave them in, in the comments below. And very, um, well, good luck with creating awesome things with uh, Flatsome and WooCommerce. Thank you. Bye-bye.